Good day. This 276th day, Meaningful Moments, 365 days. Today, I'm going to be speaking about maintaining and sustaining. That was the meaningful moment. And I thought a couple of different titles that I could name this, like um, Squeaky Clean and um, how we reintroduce things to our environment, be it the physical, emotional, mental, or soulful level. But this is in conjunction with what I was speaking about yesterday and that reintroduction of different kinds of foods that we have once we do a cleanse and a detox. So I equate this with what we're all familiar with, things like, you know, we clean our house and then at some point within a week or two, it starts to get a little bit disheveled or maybe we notice there's a little bit of dust in an area or there's a little bit of soap film in the tub in a sink whatever that might be and you know that varies for people in terms of what they feel is comfortable for them but at some point we decide I got to do a little bit of scrubbing and cleaning I think um, we all have it in different ways I know that for my husband it's detailing the car and I'm sure all of us have that experience where we're driving our car and at some point, you know, we decide we're gonna you know, clean the windows and we're gonna take it for a wash and clean it up and vacuum the car out. And you know how good it feels after we do that, right? Straightening up our kitchen, making our bed in the morning, washing our clothes. I mean, it, the list goes on and on and on of things that we have to maintain and sustain. Similarly to a detox, we clean out our system and then it's not over. It doesn't stop with like, oh, I've cleaned it out. For some people, it's like once in a lifetime that they do it. And you know, by the time you know, every few months pass by, it requires a little bit of extra detail, so to speak, a little bit of extra scouring, a little bit extra cleaning that happens. So then, once we start making that connection and how we actually maintain and sustain it, we become a little bit more familiar with what we're putting back in. So it's not as if though you cleanse and detox and then it's like, oh good, I get to pile in all a bunch of stuff again that you know I know hasn't been exactly helping um, me to be healthy. And so that's where the reintroduction happens in a mindful and thoughtful way that I had mentioned yesterday where we just bring a reintroduction to different kinds of foods ever so slowly and mindfully so that we're actually understanding what that process is, how we digest it, how we metabolize it, and how it works with our systems. And because we've just done a cleanser and detox, we're extra sensitive. Just like you notice after you clean your house, it's like squeakly, sparkling clean. And for a little bit, you don't want to like mess it up. You know, you don't want to like uh, put anything out of its place or leave something dirty because you've just, you know, whether mopped the floor or swept it or whatever it is, vacuumed, that you want to, you know, keep it in that little bit of pristine place that you've allowed it to transform into. Same with our bodies. So that's where then it takes a little bit more thoughtfulness into how we are going to maintain this and sustain it in a realistic way, in a practical way, in a way that speaks to us truthfully, in a way that we can find ourselves doing and maintaining that integrity of why we began this whole thing in the first place. What was the whole point of it? What's the purpose of it? And I think for a lot of people, once we make that connection, then we see it in a completely different way because now we've established a relationship with it. And that's what's maintaining and sustaining is really all about and finding that connection and we can take that to a lot of different types of topics the sustainability of life and that's a whole other subject for another day but more and more people I think are starting to find those connections and finding sustainable ways of living from their very personal level to their professional level to how it connects in the world with the environment, with Mother Earth, and certainly we can break that down from out there in the macrocosm down into the microcosm of this little very universe within ourselves and our being and our own experience of life. For you, my friends, today, Aho.
how you know, you keep maintaining and sustaining your worlds.